Hey there. So, I'm uh, starting a new project. It's going to be really cool. Um, basically, I am following a dream. I've had it ever since I was a kid. When I was little, I wanted to be a pirate. Where most kids wanted to be like astronauts or prime minister or doctors. And I, I wanted to be a pirate. Like a 16th century, like 1600s, like blackbeard pirate. And even growing up, like my uh, heroes were explorers like Captain Cook or uh, Ernest Shackleton. Um, you know, to privateers like uh, William Kidd or Sir Francis Drake. Um, even like pirates. Like I, I loved pirates as a kid. You know, Blackbeard, Anne Bonny, Black Bart, um, you know, Henry Morgan, just to name a few. And I idolized them. I just love the idea of the adventure on the high seas and getting to explore the world. And just, I was absolutely enthralled. And I will, I, I'll admit, like my favorite, favorite movie growing up was uh, Muppets Treasure Island. And that is actually how I'm familiar with Tim Curry. So Rocky Horror Picture Show was a little bit of a system shock when my favorite pirate, which is Tim Curry playing Long John Silver, was in drag for... I mean, it's a good movie. I just wasn't ready for that. It kind of ruined my childhood a little bit. So I um, I bought a boat this summer and it needed some work. So I unfortunately, I only took it out once. I was just on the, the, the motor. I got it stuck in the marina. It was... It was awful, uh, but you know, I got—I had to get the motor rebuilt, reseal some windows. Uh, come springtime, I'm going to uh, seal the other windows, redo the electrical stuff like that. Um, yeah, like I—I I decided, you know what? Like now is better than never. Like let's let's do this. Let's buy the boat. Let's learn how to sail and start exploring and everything. And yeah, it was—it's it, been a bit of an experience, that's for sure. I. Uh, I'll put in some clips, you know, like I can, I'll put in a clip here where of just some of the, the doubts and fears I had relating to buying this boat. So it's the night before I'm going to look at this boat. Having a lot of, uh, a lot of doubts, maybe what if I can't do this? What if, what if it's just a waste of time and money or what if, you know, I'm too big to be on this thing? Uh, I'm just gonna keep telling myself this has been the dream forever and I'm never gonna accomplish it if I keep uh, putting it off but sometimes it's it's a little hard um you know my initial reaction to you know just sitting on the boat after I had purchased it and everything And there it is. This is gonna be a lot of fun. <laughs> Keep... <laughs> Just call in sick after Eric's already mad at us. Um, but there lies in lies this whole plan is one massive problem. I live here in Winnipeg, which is thousands of kilometers from the Pacific Ocean, thousands of kilometers from the Atlantic Ocean, like 1,500 kilometers from Hudson Bay, um, which is not accessible by road, uh, untold thousands of kilometers from the Caribbean. But on the upside, I do, I do have Lake Winnipeg, which is like, I think the 11th or 12th largest freshwater lake in the world. So that's where this is all going to be kind of taking off. I'm going to record me learning to sail and exploring the lake and all of that as well as my normal adventures um i look forward to sharing that with all of you and maybe who knows maybe one day i can uh i can buy a blue water boat and set out on the greatest adventure which would be to get out into the ocean and to explore the world um that is the dream um hopefully one day i'll accomplish that and uh yeah let me know down in the comments uh if you guys have any questions or anything um be sure to subscribe and ring the bell so you get notifications come springtime 
when the uh, when the boat is back in the water and ready to rock and roll. I'm going to share with you guys my electrical updates situation uh, because the electrical is all original to the 1980s and my profession, I actually deal heavily with 12 volt electric systems on heavy equipment. So I'm very particular about my wiring and I hate everything about the wiring that's on the boat currently. So it is all getting redone from the battery to the lights, everything. Um, I do have a name for the boat. It is silly. Um, let me know if you guys like it. It is a throwback to the original adventure that everyone my age that was into video games partook in. And that is Dragon Slayer on RuneScape was like the adventure when I was a kid. It was the coolest adventure ever. And as part of the quest, you actually buy a boat. So it started out as a joke and now it's just stuck in my head and I can't get rid of it. So I'm going to order up decals um, to, to decal it with the boat's name and all of that. But I got to figure out how, what style I want and all that. But ultimately, I am naming my boat <laughs> the Lady Lumbridge after that boat from runescape because i am a nerd at heart and dragon slayer was like the quintessential runescape experience for an adventure it's weird but you know what i know it'll get a chuckle out of anyone else that feels the same way that i do and i look forward to sharing all of my adventures with you guys um definitely gonna get back into uploading sort of regularly uh i've had a lot going on over the last year uh dealing with health issues and all that but we will not get too, too far into that end of things today. Uh, I may touch on it in the future, but I kind of want to keep things focused around adventure. So if you like what I'm doing here and you want to see more, definitely hit the subscribe, ring the bell so you get notifications every time I upload new videos. And I cannot wait to share more adventures with all of you. And maybe one day we can take this on the road. We can get a blue water boat and start sailing in the ocean. I'm actually at Birds Hill Park right now meeting up with a... Uh, friend from our local hiking group or meeting for the first time to kind of meet see how we how we get along and discuss possibly him teaming up and helping with the channel so yeah as always guys thank you all so much for watching